Okay, I'm going to show you one of my favorite exercises for building some active hip extension strength and strengthening the glutes in its shortened range of motion, specifically the inferior fibers of the glutes as we work into hip extension. So we're going to set up with a high box, especially if you're already pretty limited in hip extension or the ability for your leg to come behind your hip. You're going to want some clearance with your legs from the floor. So I'm going to step one foot in front of the other and I'm going to want this inner part of my leg kind of hugging the box here. And then the edge of the box is going to go right on my hip crease. So in this case, I'm working my right leg and now I'm going to center my body and squeeze the box and hug it. Okay. Now from here, I'm just going to start with a bent knee and I'm going to raise my heel toward the sky. Now notice the fact that this leg in front and me rounding over draws my pelvis into a posterior tilt. So the pelvis is tucking under and this is a relative hip extension. So this is going to improve hip extension from a pelvic perspective. So this is going to make sure that we're not lifting as high as we normally would with a neutral pelvis position. Because if I started here and then raised my leg, I could bring this all the way up. So it's okay that you're lifting in a more shortened range because we're already taking out the slack from hip extension by posteriorly tilting that pelvis. And this will keep the low back from doing the work. So we can start with a bent knee, as I just showed. Now to target the more inferior fibers of the glute max, we want to make sure that we are slightly internally rotating. So this is going to keep us in more of the sagittal plane moving through hip extension, okay? We don't want the leg to turn out, okay? We want to keep that internal rotation slightly of the femur. So we want to try to keep this heel slightly outside of the knee or just neutral. Okay, let me show you how I would progress this. We can even go into a straight leg. So get into that lunge, hug the box, tighten the quad, and extend the leg. Making sure we keep the crease of the hip glued to the box. Now, if we're really advanced, we could take this to the floor using a medicine ball as reference to press the hip into. So same thing, I'm gonna drive my opposite knee toward my chest. Now, the further you bring the opposing knee toward the chest, the harder it is, as that's going to already max out hip extension on the working side leg. So I'm gonna show you with my leg closest to the camera. We wanna make sure this medicine ball is pressed up into the pelvic bone on the same side hip that we're working. Okay, the other leg is next to the medicine ball. Now we're gonna drop the forearms, and now from here, we can start with a bent knee, drive the heel to the ceiling, progress to a straight leg. We should feel a lot of lower glute activity here. So use this as a progression to the box. So try this out for the prescribed reps and superset it with some of your hip flexor stretches for improving flexibility of the anterior hip so that we can use that new glute strength to extend our hip into greater ranges. So if you want more examples for how I structure a flexibility routine, for all the ranges the hip goes through, flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, internal and external rotation, and how I superset loaded progressive stretching for lengthening a muscle with end range strengthening drills for the opposing muscle, then check out my hip mobility program on my website. There's tons of examples and a structured program that you can follow for four weeks and then repeat it for as long as you need to. If you want something more customized to you personally, then reach out for personal one-on-one -on -one, online coaching or virtual sessions.